Grab yourself a seat and keep those hands in the vehicle at all times. You're about to be taken on a ride through the untamed wilds of internet role-playing. Observe them in their natural habitat. So you head out. (laughs) You know that'd be funny. I didn't know there'd be consequences. (laughs) Enjoy the splendor of their spurgery. Felix, who is the lion fauna. And feast your eyes upon the questionable creations of internet randoms. Actually, I've never DM'd before. This is the Supernova Safari. Hi, I'm Blake. The recent religion died out. Joined by Noah. Liam. Wait, we're, we're doing Ruby this episode? I thought that show was cancelled. Ben? No, it took mine. <laughs> <laughs> and Richard. So I was in Denny's earlier today, and I just finished my fries, and I was talking to one of my friends. We were throwing some ideas back and forth for some stupid bullshit we could do. And I wipe a little ketchup off my lip with my napkin, and, you know, I look at it, and it strikes me. This is actual garbage. And then I threw it away and went back to my life. What could have been? Holy <laughs> fuck. We could have been free of this world if Bernie Burns just shut his fucking mouth. And said, yeah. Nancy, that's retarded. <laughs> and smacked him and said, go back to animating RBB. Please? Please. The, Hi, wor- the world would have been a different place. Safari. We're back again with our favorite topic, Ruby. I managed to renegotiate the contract with Richard to get him on for yet another episode. I can't believe you're still on that, man. (laughs) I'm gonna make my way back to hosting again. You know it's gonna happen. Not as long as the tape is there. (laughs) That's fucked up. Uh, Yeah, hey, Jamie, cut that part out of this live broadcast. All right, guys. Now, I'm sure we all love Ruby for a lot of reasons. Can anyone name a few? (laughs) Uh, Vince McCogna. Okay. Eddie. Okay. Uh, looking towards the. Oh, uh, I got the one. Porn. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, no, no. I, yeah, I got one. I got one. Okay, so I think it's really cool how like Ruby and Adachi and Blaze Blue Cross Tag uh, can talk. I think that's really cool. <laughs> Only because of Adachi though, and I think th- the fact that those two characters could ever interact in any sense makes me really happy and smile. But mostly because it's it's younger Ruby when she was a fun character. When <laughs> she is a fun character. <laughs> See, they knew not to pick older Ruby because, because she's, what's she's wrong an with unhappy her? retard. What's, I, I, wrong, with I, I, what, what's, what's wrong with her? Can you name one thing that's right with her? I mean, yeah. I, all I have to say is that, uh, the developers who don't speak the language of the material it was written in just understood Ruby better. Quote Ruby, when you're fighting, you don't have to worry about personal drama or anything. Just fight. Remember, simple is the best. Ah, that was fun. Ruby can also dematerialize. Quote Ruby in the show. Thanks, Blake. (laughs) (laughs) Two different characters. It's all I'm saying. But uh, I I would know a lot about characters, especially Ruby ones, because I spend every day of my life submerged in 40 roll 20 tabs looking at shitty games going... I hate these characters. Uh, also, before today, view, sorry, viewers, before yeah. you ask, yes, I am named after the character. Wait, hold on, I don't get to Damn, say that. Damn, that's a I joke like I'll it. have no context for for months. Thanks, Blake. What? <laughs> Thanks, Wait, Blake. Uh, like the character in Ruby named Blake. Oh, I thought he was doing a clever joke it's like about a, something. It's I'm, like a it's... super meta joke. I see. No, I think it was both. What the fuck are I, you I thinking think of? Per- Wait, no, no, see, no he, he wasn't even come. there. No, he no he. I showed it to him the other day. He doesn't know. He just he's not thinking about that. I'm. Confused. I thought it was funny, Blake, and I he's firebombing it, it and making it awkward. Yeah, but that's his no awkward. Team. Well, I was doing a transition, and Blake stepped in. Well, yeah, but you, you, so never, you never you never stopped talking. Joke. 
yeah, I'm uh need to get through the podcast, Blake. It's an audio <laughs> it's a non visual program. It's audio only. You know, yeah, guys, I have to talking. find a new game. I think these guys are pissing me off. <sighs> only there's some website I could go on to and find a Ruby game with people who really understood how to play it. Ah. Well, anyway, yeah. let's look at some shitty apps. Was that a segue? It wasn't what? one point. Oh. Yeah. You know, I think it would have worked the first time before Blake sandbagged you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good bit. How could you say that? Blake's awesome. <laughs> I mean, I'm not laughing? saying he, I'm not. Whether you think I'm saying Blake is or isn't awesome depends on where you think I stand on whether I like Noah or not. <laughs> on the debate, I suppose. Yeah, that's fair. The, the long-held debate on if Noah is cringe or not. All right. Check your cringe, Noah. Check I gotta, I gotta turn my mustache upside but down. Why I'm does mad. anyone care about the gun? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blake. Don't worry. You can be. You don't have to be mad anymore. Instead, I need you to be crazy. <laughs> well, he can do that. <laughs> this is a this is a character application by Crazy Boy. Yes, he does have a Minecraft avatar. He's got a cool Minecraft skin as an avatar. Okay, you want to guess his character's name or player? Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I, I I fucked it up at the start. Like like is <laughs> normal for me. Um, his player name is Crazy. Obviously. Experience with Ruby and the unofficial tabletop. <laughs> Correct. Correction. None of the tabletop. But I have seen volumes 1 to 8. I just found this and I have been a fan of Ruby sin since maybe 6 years now. Anyway, I never knew this was a thing until now. So I wanted to give it a shot. No experience required. Wait, what, I, is, this, what does this, that yeah, mean? That, so, that, so that's the default template answer. Crazy did an awesome thing where he put in between the <laughs> yeah, question and the default answer. He put his answers like he didn't get rid of the default like explanation, and he didn't put it after it. He put it in the middle like it's a sandwich of an application. <laughs> that's really oh, weird. That's smart. So you read it and then you read the what he was yeah. supposed to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, like it's the like, rubric afterwards like, for grading. Yeah, it's proofs. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Noah. Do you want do you want to ask the questions here of the answer sheet? Yeah, sure. Uh, what do you find is the best part of tabletops? I love the mix of role playing, character building for fighting and storytelling. That's so cool. Uh, what's your character name? Undecided. Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's a good one. Undecided. I may go with Ellis Flawa. That's not... Wait, Ellis? No, like Elise? Elise? I oh, Elise. Say Elise Al no, uh, no. E-L-Y-E-S. E it could be anything. Oh my god. Do you people with your fucking new age like names? A w. What's your huh. weapon? Huh? Oh, oh, it's a cyber chotel. Equals, it's a rare shaped Sorry, weapon. Sorry, that's a chatel. <laughs> a chatel? What the fuck is either of those? Well, the shotel is the curved Egyptian thing. Yeah, I well, like well, the kind what of crescent moon sword. What a toll is. Oh. You know, uh, you know, like the guy in dark. Uh, wait. Um, it's a rare shaped sword. If you're okay with doing something, uh, doing that, uh, uh, and if something like that can be found in the books. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to break the rules. All right, uh, what's your uh, semblance? I don't know what options there are, so I think I like something that's like a mutation where I can put, where I can turn parts of my body to copy that of animals and or if you're okay with grim, <laughs> God fucking damn it. I see a downside is the risk of losing myself to the animal within, <laughs> or if you want something different, I could go with something like uh, a power of another world where I can change my form into that of a fantasy creature. Or maybe I can have something that is like an energy blast. I don't know the <laughs> rules. So I'm just ranting on the deeds here. Hope to hear from you soon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, guess, I, I don't know. I guess I'll just go with like the whole grim corrupting my body thing. If it's not, like not too, it. you know, normal. I can do anything. I didn't or, really... or energy blast. <laughs> or, really like he, or energy blast. He just wants to be Goku. He wants to turn into a big monkey or shoot energy blast. Yeah. Or something that lets me turn into an elf. I'd really yeah. like to play I, an elf. 
I, I can't get over the fact that like he, he non he nonchalantly like just happened to suggest the idea that all, every edgy fucking Ruby OC has, which is like being corrupted by Grim. Dude, that's why they call him crazy. I bet I bet his character has silver eyes too. It's like a dichotomy thing. It's like a yin and yang, black and white. <laughs> but that's already a character. Yang. <laughs> We're starting the session <laughs> off with really a weird way. About it. He's like, you can't say that. Where's Yin? <laughs> Can we just talk about how Monty had so much restraint not to make a character named Yin? I was shocked by that. <laughs> you really expect it from him. I bet that was the Green Demon's template name. Yeah, obviously. That makes no, that that one hundred percent was the palette swaps name. <laughs> that one hundred percent was the palette swaps. Like, like, like in the name. in the fucking program he uses. Yeah, exactly. Before Raven was Raven. I wish I could listen to ketchup packets and create But But no, uh, no, I have to ask you then. What is Raven? Uh, <laughs> that's besides so my wife. <laughs> uh, I've got uh, like four videos from this guy I could show you. No. Are they good? You know, I actually thought of this character once. It's like a character that like turns instead of like raven and crow it's like the reverse where they turn an animal into a person just spitballing from my <laughs> fantasy world here <laughs> maybe, maybe, if not at least shoot lasers uh, all right hey, but uh here you go uh can you introduce yourself ben yeah i'm ben no no but i'm playing the part uh, yes. of Brizzly. Who's a furry? This is a furry. <laughs> <laughs> this is a furry, instantly I can tell. Hey, I'm Paul, but people call me Briz by my user. <laughs> In tabletops. I like how you can be wacky. You get a laugh when you roll high enough. <laughs> to pull off all kinds of stunts. I'm really curious to see how the weapons are going to work. As a player, I'm a bit of a pusher. When it's too quiet. <laughs> Tongue out face. What the fuck's a pu- what the fuck's a pusher? Would any of you describe is yourselves a as a pusher in D and D? I would, is he, is I would he, describe uh, Clara as one. Is he a plug? <laughs> does he mean, or does he mean he's pushy? I don't I think, really get. I, I think just finish your turn. It, finish it. No, literally, he's like, dude, nothing's happening. Uh, I kill. I kill the headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> This is so boring. This, I'm gonna attack the This girl. is awkward. I punch Gwen. <laughs> I punch Gwen. This, this punch sucks. Gwen. I'm bored. I attack the wall. I attack the darkness. <laughs> What's your character doing? Yeah, Felix is like stabbing himself in the forehead. Because <laughs> you guys uh, won't uh, stop uh, fucking talking. Because I'm, I'm a killing push- thugs. <laughs> I'm killing thugs. Yeah, I'm just murdering right. civilians because you are boring me. Here we go, boys. <laughs> But aside that, right now I'm at ep eight of volume eight, and bruh can't change my mind. Gene is my favorite. <laughs> Gene, I love Gene. I love Gene. Was that? Anyways, John, I'm playing a oh. character named Roger. Oh, Ro- no. Roger so so. <laughs> I, I, Goldie <laughs> Roger, just say no, it. Just come no, out and say no, no. it. Literally, all he put was, I'm playing a character named Roger S-O-C-L. <laughs> Sock? All lowercase, too. All lowercase. <laughs> so cool. A guy who always tries to be the big pro of the group and help as much as he can. He uses a shield and a, ha- and a handmade... <laughs> That a handmaid that can it. turn into a gun. Give me the T. To the Reaper. To the one <laughs> Reaper has in <it> Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> About the shield, I don't know yet. <laughs> I fucking love this one. He does. I love that his frame of references, you know, the one from Overwatch. I like how he's, he's just a shotgun. It's, Reaper just has a shotgun. Like off. But it's just like, you no, know. he has two shotguns, actually. He has two sawed-off shotguns. Why, it's why like did that... he think to have the shield turn no, into He means he wants the ones that you drop off screen and then they reload. <laughs> reload. All right. <laughs> his semblance 
is called transfer. I'm picking this for a specific reason, and that is because I want to make some sort of grim that has a soul. Uh, Theory. Wait, uh, no, no, comma. Excuse me, comma. The idea is that this semblance will allow me to transfer traits, effects, or other forms of energy. I tried to come up with a semblance that is very versatile, so using myself as a conduit for almost anything sounds as good as it gets. That's a shitty semblance. You, or you explain it poorly. What <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? I literally look at Noah and go, Autism! Liam! Ah! Liam! <laughs> <Lim. laughs> Liam, can I ask you a question? No. Cool bit. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. Cool uh, bit. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna ask it anyway, Liam. Why does everyone just want to have, like, a grim power? Because grim are cool. Because they want to be edgy, and grim are edgy. <laughs> you know, I wish it was deeper than that, but I think you just... Because everybody... people are furries, is the actual Look, answer. Like, everybody oh, wants no. to be wanted. Oh, no, furries. Oh, no. <laughs> Everybody. What's worse than a Ruby fan? A furry, a fan. furry Ruby fan. Man, I fucking love this guy. I still love him, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Well, this thanks guy was the, great. Well, thanks to the character, Paul. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, well, uh, consider <laughs> learn to speak English. <laughs> yeah, maybe run this for a bit of a translator next. Don't time. go to Portugal and learn to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so uh, this is a bit of a combo piece. Oh, uh, really quick. Uh, yeah, this one's fine. Uh, not not the most hilarious one, but you you got it, Richard. You know, I, I promise okay. it's worth it. No, fuck. Mm -hmm. Just open that up there, and okay, this looks all right. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess we'll just get right into it. <clears throat> I am taking on the role of Phantom R. Player name, Phantom Rabbit. Awesome, another furry. <laughs> yep, another furry. All right, experience with Ruby in the unofficial tabletop. No experience required. That's just in all of these, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> None with the tabletop, but I have well, seen... Question yeah. before you go. Is it... No, was that guy who fucked it up the first one and then everyone copied him? <laughs> <laughs> is that is that what happened? <laughs> no, they've all done their own unique versions. So like this guy has this is like what I expected he'd do, where he left it at the start. Like, you don't here's your answer. You don't need to worry about it. But this guy just leaves it. That guy did it with the sandwich method. And and Brizzly just answered all of them without the form, so you would have to refer to it to figure out what question he was answering at the time. <laughs> ah. Well, the spice of life. Those are all a unique way to mess it up. Yeah. Oh, no experience with the tabletop, but I have seen every volume of Ruby and have been a huge part of the fan base since volume three. Rest <laughs> in peace, Monty. Oh, cool. I'm sure he appreciates it. <laughs> Root, Root Monty, we're representing. This really feels like a like a cult greeting where you just throw out uh, Rip Monty. By the way, to try and show you're in the in group. Like, guys, you're on a fucking roll twenty for him. It's a little yeah, weird. I... It's yeah, been hey, dead for like eight years. Who fucking cares? Yeah, hey, it's it's real great to finally meet you guys in person, Rip Monty. So <laughs> yeah. you want to get lunch? <laughs> Here's my application to the game, Rip Monty Own, by the way. <laughs> Can we make fun life. of this though? Because I'm pretty yeah. sure at the beginning of every session, so a certain thing popped up. Dude, that's I'm dedicating my session to that. This is in the back war rooms of Roll Twenty. Is he dedicating his? You just uh, don't get it. Is he dedicating his application to Monty Elm? Is that's what I'm wondering. Gonna put some stakes out there. He's using his application as a platform to once again reiterate that Monty Ohm is dead and we're all sorry. See, this is why I'm suspicious <laughs> of these people. I think too many people think he's dead. Yeah. I <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's for, that that's for a future podcast to discuss. Is Monty so <laughs> no. alive? That'd be a sick, a be a a sick thumbnail. I could put in a game theory in there. <laughs> What a so, great! The, the episode ends with us going, "No, of course, he's dead. <laughs> no, of course he's fucking dead. He <laughs> yeah. got killed by his dumb or wife." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, just a joke, by the way, in Minecraft. Just a joke in Minecraft. Yeah, she's not a whore. Yeah. Oh, nice. She definitely killed him. 
<laughs> Only Columbo is still Jeff, around. She definitely did. <laughs> yeah, uh, just, 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 just one more thing. One more thing. Ah, here he goes again. What is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't have like follow up. <laughs> Yeah, wow. that's like a, that's like Thank a you. What to do without having the follow up, Blake. I didn't dangerous. think anyone would call on me. Good point. Um, fucking okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Richard. <laughs> what do you find is the best part of tabletops? Fighting, exploring, RPing with NPC and PC alike? Question mark in parentheses, but coming after the uh, colon for the question. <laughs> Is that how the original thing is formatted? Yeah, that sucks. Oh, that's terrible. Well, well, I do enjoy a good fight. The best part would be the story the GM weaves and interactions characters make, both with other PCs and NPCs. All of them. <laughs> I like everything. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. Right, my character name is Azrael Crow. <laughs> Fucking awful. It's so awful. In parentheses, <laughs> rabbit faunus, by the way. See me after class. Oh, Phantom Rabbit may have rabbit faunus. Oh, no way. This isn't a self-insert. Oh, not right. at all. Weapon. What the... F well, okay. Eons, Eclipse, and Oblivion's Oath. Twin swords with dust chambers in both. Transforms into dual dust pistols. Wait, sorry. It, er, er, is weapons named Eon and Oblivion? Eon yeah. and Oblivion, yep. Yeah. Te technically, Eon's Eclipse and Oblivion's Oblivion. Oath. Oh. Those are just oh. Kingdom Hearts Keyblades. I know, I literally. Yeah. Jesus awesome. Christ. Alright, so for semblance, I technically have two ideas, either or. Uh, <clears throat> I love these people! I'm yeah. not very confident, so I'll just throw out a bunch of ideas. Yeah, so uh, either I want Temporal Stride can alter the flow of time to speed up their own body and augment their body, allowing them to leave after images and appear elsewhere as if jumping through time, 10 second intervals. Oh, uh, cool. Or I'll take Shock Absorber. The user absorbs kinetic energy through their weapon or body, which makes them faster and stronger, faster <laughs> and stronger augmenting their body and weapon. I know this is similar to Yang's, but I like it. <laughs> uh, so, so, if the first one seems a bit too strong, I am willing to use this one. So I I like this guy's general strategy of instead of like being like, okay, the DM might like veto it if I have like a strong suggestion. So I'll make you two strong ones so he thinks he has options. So oh, then he'll just yeah, pick exactly. one of them. Yeah, I trick him into it. Ooh, that's clever. And so I gotta yeah. win with my same ones. <laughs> Anyways, Fuck, that's, I can't uh, believe Blake tricked me so easily. Well, I mean, he tricked you so easily with letting him get his character in because his first two ideas were, you know. <laughs> <laughs> other, other future podcast. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> I've never forgotten. Uh, anyways, like, that's the uh, end of uh, that's the end of me, Phantom Rabbit's post. Yeah, uh, so, I didn't have anything else to say to you, GM. Please accept me. Thanks, Phantom Rabbit. Uh, oh my god, who is that? <laughs> Muscling through the crowd. What the fuck? Wait a minute, he's coming back. Uh, uh, who is that? Right under his post! What, what's he doing here? Ben. I don't... Ben. Ben. This motherfucker. <laughs> Did you fucking stealth the AFK? Uh, no, I didn't stealth the AFK, you... Ooh. It's Grizzly! <laughs> No fucking way is he back! <laughs> what? what? In response to Phantom Rabbit! Oh my fucking god, he responded to the other- f Well, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Okay, Brizzly says, Why not just use the build-up energy to shoot your bullets with more power and speed? You'd be turning your pistols into rifles like that. Oh, coming into oh, the other application! Off the top uh, rope! Off Thank the top you, rope Brizzly. with just what Dante does, base? <laughs> I love other players coming in to go, uh, your, kind of, your character is kind of gay. <laughs> uh, your character is kind of gay. What if Ron, like, had, like, he could, like, magnetize things? <laughs> <laughs> Coming in to own someone, failing to take advantage of the situation. Well, thank you, Brizzly. We're uh, gonna keep that in. Uh, instead of here. instead of being the best, you just have to be better than the rest. <laughs> just gotta be better than the rest. All right, thank you, thank you all. Uh, let's just uh, yeah, double check here really quick. Yeah, I, I think Liam can do this one. Yeah. 
Yeah, you believe in me? Yeah, I got, I think you're good. You have faith in me? I think you're good. All right. I am trash punk. <laughs> but you can call me trashy. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way! But if you want to be formal, I also go by Dawn. By Mr. Punk. Oh, it, <laughs> okay. It doesn't okay. Get Don, how is Dawn spelled? With an L. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but, like, do, like Donald. Yeah. Yes. Like Donald Duck. Like the president. Yes. <laughs> like Donald Trump. Like the rightful heir to America. Turn, turn the turn the recording off. <laughs> turn the recording off. We gotta. I'm about to lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Experience with Ruby slash unofficial tabletop. No experience acquired, question mark. <laughs> what the fuck? I've been in tabletops like Starfinder and 5e, which may or may not be anything like this certain type of system, but I'd love to learn its intricacies. As for Ruby, I've recently began watching into the first season as a recommendation from a friend. It all seems rather interesting so far. I'd have to say my favorite character is John Ark at the moment. <laughs> the first oh. season of Ruby... It's like 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm working and on it. you didn't like it, you didn't, and you didn't finish season one? What the fuck are you... What? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's not like a fucking Game of Thrones my hour long episode. My favorite character is Laurie because he abuses Johan. <laughs> God. So no experience with anything. No, Why are you no, even no, trying to apply to this game? Why are you applying to this game if you know nothing? If you know literally nothing, you've come to a Ruby game and you're like, yeah, I'm in. All right. What he finds best to be the best part of tabletops. I'm absolutely enamored with every bit that has to do with role play, especially when it's with my party and not just the NPCs. Although I do like the exploration aspect of places and puzzles slash riddles slash mysteries it could potentially hold. I also do like combat where it can get interesting and more aspects like environments and all. I like picking up and enjoying the little things, I must admit. I'm sorry. At the end I thought he said I like picking things up. Which <laughs> I like getting I, I like finding things on the ground. I like feeling objects. <laughs> I like running my fingers across different surfaces. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I what like I the like in D and D? Touch. <laughs> I'm a real touch fiend. Oh, what? Right. What? What if one of the questions on the application was just like, "What is your favorite sense?" <laughs> what is your favorite? Yeah, sense? yeah, yeah. I'm a tactophile. <laughs> yeah. a, how many people pick? Like the sixth sense or something cringe trying to be cool. <laughs> like all of them. Do you believe in fate? <laughs> it's oh, it's like cool. it's like one of those fucking trap questions that's just for someone to laugh at. Oh uh, yeah, you got all those edgy people picking the sixth sense, and then you've got literal trolls like me going, I like my sense of balance. <laughs> you fucking asshole. I hate the guys who put smell like psychopath. <laughs> Give me some of that. <laughs> All right, character name. Carol Lasser. Awesome. <laughs> awesome name, by the way. Yeah, because they're tight. Bless your heart. <laughs> An ever distant and aloof huntsman with a heart like iron and eyes like rhinestones. <laughs> All right. Okay. You'd think just by looking at them long enough, they weren't exactly all there. You'd be right. Oh, the, they're, <laughs> they're, awesome. they're they're retarded? They're psychopath. They seem distant from others, but occasionally frequent conversation every now and again. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> They'll certainly forget your name, but they won't forget an impact you left on them, physical or not. Wherever they are, or their mind is for that matter, is certainly almost with little to no reason as for why in that moment. What? <laughs> Wherever they are, or their mind is for that matter, is certainly almost with little to no reason as for... Did I stutter? Wh what? That is... Wherever they are is a certainty, is certainly almost... 
It's, it, it's like one of those. They are where they are for no reason. It, it, I think is what he's trying to it, say. It's yeah, like one of those fucking puzzles. <laughs> Wait, he just said he loves puzzles. That's what this yeah. is. It's an ARG in my Ruby application. Can you solve it? All right, but chances are there was a reason, and they have. They just have yet to remember. Holy fuck! <laughs> Asshole! After that fucking monolith, he's just like, yeah, or maybe not. <laughs> Ye or D. All right. Their weapon. Anyone have a guess at their weapon? <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to cheat after all. Scythe. Base. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, gun. Wait, it's a cane that could turn into a sword, but only once. <laughs> only once. <laughs> uh... A fishing pole that turns into another fishing pole, but this Plus. time ranged. <laughs> I love this one. It's so Two Arumis. <laughs> it's a sword like any other, except the blade is more like that of a ribbon with the speed of a whip. Still as sharp, but just as agile and deadly in good enough hands. Mm, a real new Don Pirate fan would recognize it as a Hindu weapon influencing one of Lee Ali's techniques. Yeah, but no one's a fan of them, so... Yeah, I'm away. <laughs> <laughs> and while they work more like weapons, they use it as just as much to achieve goals by using them for their own utility purposes. <laughs> such as the momentum of a whip and the reach. This is why you never want to be on a team with Caro. Besides having to say their awful name, whatever, like, hey, can you give me that fucking thing? Uh, can you give me the milk? They'd whip it across the room, smash it with their whip sword, and throw the carton across the wall. They go, sorry, my reach was too long. <laughs> okay, I, I like that we implied that this guy has a touch fetish, and yeah. earlier on, he went, he'll never forget the impact your conversation had, physical or otherwise. Yeah. And now he's going, also he uses his whips instead of his hands. This guy's so complicated, it's because he doesn't want to get too horny, so he uses his whips instead of his hands. Alright, his semblance. I read through this, I actually kind of like it. Oh, really? Yeah, it's kind of neat. Alright, his semblance is, it's all coming back now. Uh, or more simply known as ricochet. It's an ability most would call useless. Unless it... <laughs> Holy shit. Shonen protagonist with the ability to kill God says... <laughs> most people would call his power useless. But if you use it as his intended purpose, it's actually overpowered. What the fuck? I f honestly, I could name one series in particular. <laughs> Remember. Please don't. <laughs> Richard slays up against the desk. No, bro, not tonight. We're not, <laughs> not talking tonight. about that. All right. It's a that most would call useless, unless it was used for something more practical. The last thing to leave their grasp, or at least be in their grasp to begin with. I don't know why he had to clarify that. Yeah. Uh, immediately returns to their hand. This, this includes both organic and in inanimate material, such as flowers or rocks. Thank you for the uh, description. I didn't know what an inanimate material was. <laughs> Uh, if it works in odd ways, as depending on the size of the last thing they touched, it can be either come to them or they go to it. Yeah, I really don't see the use in something that lets me teleport things to me that I control. Yeah, that seems, as most people say, that seems pretty useless. Walks away with retard pants on. What the fuck? Why did he say it seems useless? That's just very I, useful. I'm not gonna lie, I almost joined uh, your Ruby game with a character with this semblance. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. This is like 90% of Ron's power. Yeah, exact, it, exactly. Exactly. If you I like, you know, you use wrong or cool. oscillating onslaught with this, it's like yeah. you can pull people back and keep hitting them. Like, what the fuck? This is great. Don't bury it with this shonen hype up bullshit. Yeah, I mean, maybe it started out like it just slowly pulled towards him, <laughs> and then he kept writing more, and it got strong, and he never went back to change it. Yeah, you're right, Trat. I'll, I will call you trashy. Well, anything extra trashy? Anything extra. I like what you got. I apologize that I don't have a character image to show. I normally draw my own. Uh -huh. Regardless, though, best of luck on this campaign of yours. Very cool, trashy. Very fun. Very cool character. What a what nice was young it? man. Run along. I... <laughs> he didn't, like, give his character, by the way. No, not at all. There's, like, no <laughs> description of this character. 
No, some people just oh. didn't do that. They just give like, here's how cool their powers are. All right, well, that's all you need. That's all you really need. I'm gonna pull up a bit of an oldie, but a goodie. I'm dipping into the bank, um, and uh, I think we will have one of the Roll Twenty monsters come out today. Oh no! Uh, you know, I, he's not the flashiest, but he's one of the most consistently um, funny to read and notice that he's in another game. Uh, Blake, if you would. Uh, Oh, there he is. The there, there's the name I love to see. Yeah. Player name, Zachary. Player pronouns, he, him. Age, 21, but can be very silly. Very it's pretty cool. <laughs> experience with tabletops, four plus years. Experience with Ruby, newer fans, still love it. <laughs> Doesn't say literally anything about how much he's seen. Fucking awesome. Favorite Ruby character and why? He, Yang. I just love her character in the beginning. I'm a man who loves bad puns and badass women. And Yang definitely fits both well. Plus, I'm a sucker for shotguns and gauntlets, so I enjoy it. Awesome. Least favorite Ruby character and why? Blake. She never seems like she's a good fit. I mean, it makes sense and all. However, I just, I just can stand someone like her, especially her character's uh, depiction in the latest volume. What I latest... Like, so he's caught up. This is from, like, a year ago. So, like, how entirely vague. How how insanely vague of a response. What did he mean? Imagine liking... She seems like a good fit. Imagine liking Yang current year. Well, like, even, like, last volume. She's been... It was in, yeah, it was in... I mean, the last volume was, like, a year ago. <laughs> well, I mean, so... I, I, I mean, like, she's been fucking disgustingly bad f for a while. Yeah, no shit. Uh, uh, do you? Uh, hey, do you believe in destiny? <laughs> in some regards, destiny can help lead, but I'm sure even fate has a bit of luck involved. Thanks for the philosophy, dickhead. Uh, anyway, just for fun, what's your favorite food? Pizza. I could eat it for days and not get sick of it. <laughs> pies? We're not making any pies. It's pizza. Because everybody <laughs> loves pizza on the first day. <laughs> All right. Wait, uh, how come you can make the joke? I was making fun of him, but I was being mean. I'm setting up my, uh, I'm building oh, up the foreshadowing, Ben. Yeah, I'm building up the bricks of the future episode. No, anyway, uh, let's get into no the character cares. now. Uh, what's your character name? Tiran Gola. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it either. I was going to say Taran Gola, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, what's your age? 18. Uh, race? Human. Damn. Uh, what's your character origin? Tarzan in the Jungle Book. Very cool. And what? your theme is gold. All right. Now, uh, what's your character appearance? Setting Wait, is... Does he say Tarzan and the Jungle Book? Yes. yes, yes. He's dual wielding <laughs> origin? <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. What's that? Mowgli and Tarzan. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, Mowgli and pick God. one. What the fuck? <laughs> They're both different, you know. They're both from the no! jungle. They're both from the jungle. <laughs> you can be a jungle boy. It just, it's no, nice he, to know which like he literally just, theme you're going with and arc you're trying to pull off. He, he literally just couldn't fucking remember the differences. I've seen either of them. Why would I pick? Standing at six five, is a built human male covered in scars and cuts. Each look either fresh or s scarred up. So he's like currently bleeding in front of you. <laughs> in front of the interviewer. <laughs> His eyes are golden yellow, with his hair is smoky grayish color. He wears a filthy gray shirt, which has been ripped to near bits, with a brown and cold coat covering it. So he's literally, like, ripped clothing, bleeding wounds in front of you, being like, accept me. Pretty cool. Uh, covering it. It's self-covered with dust and holes. He wears, like, dark gloves with golden designs running down <laughs> from the knuckles down to the finger. <laughs> <laughs> he also oh, wears these fingerless gloves. He also wears a, wears a faded gray gray pair of pants with claw marks and huge holes in his knees. <laughs> he then wears long boots caked with dirt, dust, mud, and grim flakes. I want to point out they gave me an oh. image for this character, and he just basically spent this whole paragraph describing an image he has. Like he didn't take any creative liberties. <laughs> I also want to. It's also like. 
when you're describing your character's appearance, probably what like the, they genuinely just kind of look like most of the times. Yeah, he just like looks like shit. <laughs> like he doesn't I mean, that's bathe. That's to the image. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> so bathe, and he's wearing change. ripped clothes. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Uh, character symbols are too in- interesting. Uh, it's just basically Reina's. Uh, what's his weapon? His weapons is his own hands. He seems That's especially awesome. trained with them to the point he refused to use a weapon for hand-to-hand combat. He does carry a shotgun he once found years ago as a form of range. Our handy fire starting back fire starter slash back scratcher. Why did it start a fire? <laughs> what you shoot it so it ignites. Oh right. The f- I got a real fucking bone to pick with guys who are like, I'm my character is not a bitch, so he doesn't have a ranged weapon. What's this I, mentality with? Like, yep, yeah, Ben, what is the reason? Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I, He's got I, a fan. I fucking love for the last time. Yeah. Felix Only had one. A fucking mate. I, I'm gonna I, kill. I'd him. fucking love if just like in the background the DMs is rolling, like they just roll a one and they say blows his fucking spine off. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. He'd probably go, that's awesome. I love randomization. This will be a cool story to say. Anyway, I gotta go, because I have 14 other Roll20 games to get to this day. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm Zach Christ, the fucking paladin. Uh, what's his backstory? Once a child living on an island near the land of darkness, he was abandoned awesome. by his... <laughs> so, wait, wait, we're just calling it that, huh? <laughs> you, you capitalized all that. We're calling it that? All right. Is that the name? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 sir, please go on. Is, Grandpa, why did you go to the land of darkness? <laughs> of darkness. <laughs> oh no, Felix, I'm trapped in the darkness. You gotta save me. Uh, Alright, see you in 12 years. You believe it's even. <laughs> you believe the other name they gave that place is the Ever Fuck me. Fucking sucks the ever night. <laughs> Wait, hey, they so named it? The Evan Death. Is that the Dragon Convent? Yeah, it's the, yeah, the Land of Dragons. See, I liked Evernight Castle as a name, but I didn't realize it was just na- they called the place Wait, Evernight. Well, well yeah, lame. it's Evernight Castle because it's on Evernight. It's so lame. Come on, yeah. bro. Well, they never named it, so everyone just called it that. The Land of Darkness. It's a little- no, it's called Evernight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah you, you really, you really showed me. It's like Forever Falls, the only other location that has a cool name in the fucking series. Shut up. He, he was abandoned by his family and left to die. He nearly did so. No. He nearly well, did okay. so until one Grim stopped attacking him, just ignoring him. Oh my why, oh, fuck. Oh, 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 we're going into it, but I mean, why, why are they living <laughs> near the land of darkness and why did they abandon him? You got nothing for that, buddy? I mean, like, that seems like... All right, no, go ahead. I'm sure the rest is cool. <laughs> he soon began to live like a Grim, fighting, hunting, and surviving off the land for years to come. That's not what Grim do. They literally don't survive off the land. They're fucking amalgamations of negative emotions. They don't need to eat. <laughs> then why do they, huh? They're not. It's, it's <laughs> not <laughs> a Grim is point. not just like if a. Grim don't need to eat. Why they eat my parents, huh? <laughs> It's it's not like a grim or like a fucking wolf. They're not like. Why does it look like one? I love guys who try and take the Tarzan thing and do it as literally and painfully as possible, where they're just like raised by a grim. It's like no, just <laughs> how do you, how just, can we justify that? Just be raised. Just do what Noah did. Be raised by furries. Basically, yeah. <laughs> do something else. Either animals or faunas, or just you were displaced, but. No I, real I, good I think people really just right. fucking forget they're actual animals. Yeah, basically. And they even started doing like avatar animals where they've got like nonsense because they're hacks. Whatever. <laughs> fucking hell. Let's, let's just go. <laughs> I'm sure this will be interesting. So he was surviving off the land, yada yada, for years to come until he was found by a woman bear faunus who helped the once wild boy. She okay. teach him to speak, to write, to learn. He slowly began to call this woman Mama Ursa. Awesome. He cared for her for years until one day, the very Grimmy lived alongside with attacked at night and killed his caretaker. Awesome. He made one promise that day, not only to become the strongest, to kill whomever is in his way. He started with the very Grim who invaded his home, slaughtered them with his bare hands, which turned into woven claws. 
he now want wanders to find someone to show him strength. Maybe he wanders could find someone. Find who, someone. <laughs> maybe he could find someone who can make him the perfect grim killer, and he can finally have his revenge. He killed the grim that killed. <laughs> No, 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 please don't undersell this. For <laughs> after the night, he was no longer human. He was a grim man made to kill grim. That's with an exclamation mark. I, I fucking... I fucking can't. That's so embarrassing. Damn What's it. What's your major strength? He's someone who lacks fear. He sees the grim and he has only one goal in mind. RIP IT HAIR! Awesome, dude. It is bolded exclamation mark. Bolded, capped, and exclamation. He did the right read. What's his flaw? He's quick to jump into action, even the odds aren't in his favor. I really wish he wrote, What's his flaw? He lacks fear. Can't he lacks fear? Yeah. I'm a Guaranteed sucker great. for people that do that stupid shit. Because if you think about it, lacking fear is actually kind of a double edged sword. Uh huh. <laughs> As one might say, it's actually an ability. Most don't appreciate how useful it is. Uh, oh, what the dream. <laughs> Hold on. Fucking Jesus. To one day be reconsidered as the strongest and remnant, one who will show truly what it means, the weak die and the strong thrive. So, so like, why does it say reconsidered? Like, what, did he lose the fucking popularity contest? I, I don't really get I guess he's saying there is one already, and they need to fight over it or but something. But, like, saying reconsidered know. is, like, he was thought yeah. of and not ruled as the strongest? I'm just, Oh, yeah. I'm so confused by that word. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. God, some, the uh, weak will die and the strong thrive. What is this, a Lee quote? What the fuck? Whoa. Blake's getting a little uppity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, very cool. Uh, I really like the part where your character is just like... <laughs> like extra as fuck. That's pretty cool. Uh, Alright, who wants to do Snowdrop's Tears? That sounds fun. Yeah, you got it, Liam. You fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 fucking dummy. Oh, oh no. no. What's your name? <clears throat> Timothy. <laughs> uh, what's your, how old are you? Well, you can't skip my pronouns. He, him. Where are they? Yeah, gotcha. Well, how old are you? 21. All right, cool, Timothy. Thank you. Uh, what's your experience at Tabletops? I've been playing Tabletops for the last few years, rotating from one system to the next. Sometimes playing and sometimes DMing, and it's been an absolute blast. Oh, I've played great. 5e for around three to four years now, and I've messed around with Ruby systems as well. That's really cool. Um, what's your experience with Ruby, Timothy? I'm fairly caught up with the show, but haven't seen the last season yet. Read before the fall and honestly loved it. Yeah, I think Velvet's cool too. Um, what's your favorite Ruby character, and uh, why? There's a lot of well-written characters in this show, and I always find myself... <laughs> That's not what I said. Questioning myself. And I always find myself questioning who is really my favorite. I love Ruby's vigor and heart and how she struggles through the world of Remnant. But unfortunately, I find myself always coming to the same answer. Salem is my favorite character because she is understandable. <laughs> She's a woman oh. who, if we were put in her shoes, might make the same mistakes. <laughs> She's a tragedy given flesh and compelling beyond reason. But so <laughs> much character she shows in every scene, even given her somewhat limited screen time. She's a tragedy. Do, do, do you get? I don't. Okay, what's better? She's a tragedy given flesh or compelling beyond reason? Compelling beyond what, reason. What is funny? Compelling, compelling beyond. beyond reason is the I, best. Come I on. I really love tragedy given flesh. No, that, that that doesn't even hold a candle. <laughs> okay, I I gotta say, I don't think even if I was trying to. Deliberately, I could fillet the Ruby writers like that. <laughs> I don't think I could come up with like such banger lines. Timothy, I I really that... hope we were just ass kissing Whoa. to try and get. Whoa, you game. say that, but he says Ozpin, and you agree with him, huh? True, <laughs> Richard. Uh, tra tragedy given flesh is a very <laughs> is an answer, but the other one is just a bigger lie. So I have to go with that one. Yeah. I I, I, I don't get it. I, I really, this is really like the man and dog drowning test. If you say, oh, I really sympathize with Salem. You're like, you're, you're really fucked up, dude. 
Salem's just a bunch of really selfish and evil decisions. Like, horrifically villainous decisions. Sweep like, the floor. You're, you're a, whore. a whore. Like, I get what he means up to a point, but, like, dude, she, like, killed all her children. Because <laughs> yes. she was mad. Yeah, yes. Salem, yeah, Salem uh, loses all... Her, her, her dumb quest to try and fight the gods was a terrible decision. Um, but but, but th- that's that, whatever, though. Yeah, but even beyond that, it's she actually got basically everything she wanted, and she blew her mind and murdered her own children and became evil. Here's she the, killed here, her own children. Okay, here's the no here's, here's the problem is that Salem had one bad thing happen to her. Right, she had the person who she loved died. And she yeah. couldn't accept that. And she went to the gods, and then they were like, okay, you fucked up, now we're gonna punish you. We're gonna give and you, it, like, a biblical lesson. Yes. And then, after that, even even when things went better for her, the reason that she is tragic, I guess, the only way you can spin it is that Salem refuses to be wrong now. Yeah, I guess she, re- so. she refuses to say that any of her past decisions were a mistake. Yeah. So she's just going to continue to operate under the fact that they were correct, no matter what she has to do now. But it's see- like, she could have just gone, wow, I may have really overreacted, Ozpin, when you, I mean, Ozma, when you died, but now you're back with me and we can be happy, except the fact that I still hate the gods and I want to punish them. But, like, at that point, the biggest problem is she, like, she didn't really express that well enough. She just kind of wanted to rule the world with him. And considering they have magic, like, being... No, that would have been fine. They were trying to unify the world, and Ozma was basically like, I guess war is bad. But, like, that was what his reason was. He's like, I don't like that we're trying to control the world. And she went, "Mm, my kids are dead now. (laughs) Mm, like, don't talk I, back to me. I killed the kids. I, I I don't think she's an illogical character, but I would never say she's a sympathetic or one or understandable oh. one. Well, you're going to feel silly when they redeem her and turn her into a good guy at the end of the series. You know what? I'm going to feel even sillier because maybe... But not cool. Cinder. <laughs> not Cinder. Maybe I'm going to feel even sillier after I actually pay attention and hear what his least favorite characters are and see a Timothy show us something intellectual. Liam, if you don't mind. I hate to do this, but it's got to be the two brothers. <laughs> These gods are so human and so fallible. They judged not as equals with Salem, but as an all-knowing force. They punished all life everywhere for Salem's crime against them. Yet they are not perfect. They fail to see her treachery. They show how they can hold grudges, how very human they are. I don't dislike them because they're not well written. They're incredibly well done. I dislike them because they brought such ruin and judged humanity so harshly while failing to see their own hubris. They were hypocrites, and that's why I dislike them. Well, I'm glad you're well adjusted, Timothy. (laughs) That's an insane take. What a psychotic (laughs) answer. (laughs) Bro, I don't get it. I'll never understand people who hate fictional characters like this. I I just don't get it. I hate Zeus for raping all those women. So much. It's so sickening. I hate how well-written he was. It's so (laughs) terrible. Get out of here, old man. How do you hate characters who are villains? He doesn't hate Zeus, Richard, because he thinks that Ruby came up with this idea of humanized gods. (laughs) He doesn't know know who Zeus is. You know what? You're right. Like, you could just... You probably could have just rewritten all the parts where it says dislike and delight, and this would be a very fair answer to the question of what character I liked the most. That would be sensible. But instead he took it, like, personally, because it hurt his, like, his favorite character. <laughs> he also didn't follow the assignment and pick two characters. Fucking idiot. <laughs> True! Why everyone, everyone knows that the Light Brother is the is worst white. of the two. Yeah, because he followed the rules. Because he's scary. white. Because he's white. <laughs> All right. Well, Liam, uh, I'm sure Timothy here has a great answer to do you believe in destiny, right? Do I believe our actions are predetermined and that the path before us is the only one to take? 
I no, say, I, didn't say I don't believe in destiny. Sorry, Pira, because <laughs> to believe in destiny, in my opinion, denies a core part of humanity, our free will, our ability to choose. Dude, she just got called out. And uh, with that free ability to choose, favorite food? Rock and Road ice cream. What the fuck? Uh, I said food, Timothy! Food! Look, you can eat it. How fat are you, Timothy? Nah, man, that's too <laughs> mean. But Jesus Christ, man. In the world, I would never answer a dessert for my favorite food. You guys fucking... Can you fucking believe this guy? <laughs> Look, depending well, on... Is that worse than saying pizza? Eh, uh, no. Right. What about hot dogs? Hot dogs? <laughs> yeah, no. This is where they buff this. <laughs> Literally the most low effort shit possible. Yeah, I'm 12, but you know. Everybody loves pizza on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> Look, your favorite food doesn't have to be a meal. <sighs> but it should be. But it should be. Oh, uh, shit. No, right. I, I just want to yeah. wanna save it. Knowing Do You Believe in Destiny was a trap question... Yeah, I mean, I I love that everyone just decided to go and make these long answers that explain themselves when really the only way to win that question is just go yes or no. <laughs> yeah. People are psychotic. You're op- you, it, it's awesome because they're opening up their weaknesses for me to smile at. All you have to do is shut that question they're, down. They're quick. just doing it willingly. I feel so treacherous by asking that question. Uh, I should preface uh, for anyone listening who doesn't recognize any of these. Uh, if you recognize yourself in these, I'm sorry. I love you. But uh, I put this application up for my own game just to look for funny Ruby apps, and I got so many of them. Uh, but if you're still listening, uh, don't take it personally. You can all improve. <laughs> Smile. Just keep listening to the podcast. And for records of Remnant, uh, the, the spinoff series... Yeah. Uh, totally no, legitimate. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they'll happen sooner rather than later. Uh, all right. Character time for Timothy. Uh, character name, Liam? Ren Tribus with a W. Yep. I won't tell you where. Uh, uh, gender, pronouns? She, her. Age? 17. Uh, what's your race? Wolf Trend. Honest. Her physical trait being a scruffy brown tail. One trait. Uh, what's your character's origin story? Pocahontas. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Pocahontas, huh? All right, here you go. Uh, how about uh, Ren's appearance? Ren is a girl out of her element no matter where she is. Standing a solid 5'6 of lean muscle with rugged clothing, mostly whatever she could scrounge. She wears pelts around her waist in an attempt to hide her own brown wolf tail. While her tail fur is scraggly, it is clearly well taken care of. Okay. She typically is also seen wearing leather gloves that cover almost all of her hand and the upper part of her wrist. That's what gloves are! <laughs> what? What is he? This man just described gloves to me! I'm normally wearing a shirt that covers most of my torso, except for the sleeves, which are short. <laughs> Sorry. With buttons um, going from the top of the chest to the bottom. I will point out that in the art, they uh, they have holes in them, so it's a very interesting description. <laughs> ah, yes. He's just, he's just describing different. character art. Very cool. No, no, no. This one's clearly drawn for the character. This oh, okay. is clearly OC shit. Right. And she can be frequently seen messing with them. The gloves, that is. Yeah. Her hair, a rich brown, is a typical mess. She keeps it short so she doesn't have to worry about it when she wakes up. She always looks like she just got out of a fight, typically sporting at least a bruise somewhere with small scars from training littering her body. She also has small armor pads wrapped around her legs, covered in scratches from wear and tear. Awesome. I love all these people that just have nothing. I get it. It just always makes me laugh to imagine them showing up to a school and literally looking like a homeless child. (laughs) Your first day of school. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> At least Felix's kimono wasn't described as, like, having holes in it. <laughs> yeah, he smells like shit! Yeah, you're like, his whole kimono has holes, it's rugged, he has nothing, his bones are showing. He's, he's a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a gaping, <laughs> he's a gaping gnash on his fucking knee. Yeah. He, he fell off his bike. He's infected, you can tell. <laughs> He's been, you can tell he's been scratching at it. His <laughs> teeth are moldy. Uh, he's got a little apple juice stain on his sleeve. <laughs> he's got a 
got an apple juice stain. Yeah, I like that. Uh, they're typically wearing clothes that have big stains on the front. You, you can tell he just used the, like, like chin of his kimono to just wipe up his ketchup. Yeah, you know, I've never You can tell that Liam has a spaghetti of stain the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> typically around the collar where it fell out of the candy. Oh, yeah. he was Oh, fuck. I get to see that described as a character having stains, but I really want it now. People get oh, to fuck. having a character show up <laughs> like a man child. God damn it, fuck it. Imagining Liam in the Chris Chancer with a spaghetti <laughs> and stains in the collar might be one of the funniest things I've ever thought of. Holy fucking shit. Instead of the medallion rounding up the shirt, <laughs> just the stain. <laughs> just the stain. It's a bunch of dried up spaghettios <laughs> on a string. Why did you send me that, Liam? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm gonna send Demo's it to you running from reverse flash. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, continue, Liam. I'm sorry. Alright, so character inside. semblance. Dragon's rage. A semblance born for fighting and not much else. I'm just gonna say, you don't have to have everything being congruent with each other, but where the fuck does this come from for Pocahontas? <laughs> Shut up. It doesn't have to be, but okay. Drag specific imagery. The okay. user can summon burning hot claws sharp enough to cut most metals, but not through hunter-grade steel <laughs> okay. that surrounds their hands. Okay. Okay. These claws feed directly off the user's aura and grow increasingly stronger the lower the user's aura. Okay. Okay, so similar to Yang's semblance in front of here. Right. Oh, it's literally right there. I was about to make fun of it, but it's right there. So whatever, you know, you called it out. Very cool. Uh, uh, I guess uh, I can't call you a hack <laughs> if you've lampshaded it. <laughs> I have something that's basically Yang's aura. I know, smiley face. <laughs> it's just like, well, I guess he's getting through now. But controlling these claws has always been difficult for Ren, as high emotions, both good and bad, can manifest these claws damaging whatever she's holding, leading her to typically avoid physical contact with anyone. Oh, they just no. turn on? God. They just do that? Ren, happy birthday! Oh my god, guys! They shoot out and stab the fucking wall. I just oh, think it's, like, it's, it's like fucking Wolverine just walking around. They just activate randomly, killing people. Yeah, you smack her on the ass, they shoot out and stab someone next to her. Like, what the Jesus, Ren? Shape up! That sucks. That sucks. You can't even, you have to be as in the middle. You can't be high or low. That fucking sucks, dude. Fucking Christ. Well, maybe she has a weapon that helps with this. All right. Her weapon. Stone Claw is Ren's weapon of choice. It is a martial arts style originating oh. from her village best described as ripping into an opponent wherever possible an aggressive and reckless style which lacks subtlety but more than makes up for it in raw ferocity and savagery so your weapon is martial arts i hate these people can i just say <laughs> that the cool part of ruby is the weapon and the gun yeah. if you just punch people you're a bitch which is retarded because martial artists can use weapons guys yeah, it's not like illegal. Like you can, you can have just even use gauntlets weapons. if you really just use gauntlets and say you make them cool. Yeah, just um, dude, use a gang shotgun gauntlets. Fucking dude. who cares? You already stole a symbol. Yeah, my yeah. weapon's MMA gloves. I put nails on. <laughs> <laughs> Better than just going martial arts. I love martial arts, but Ruby's not really the fucking thing Haley. That. Well, my, minus a pair of gloves. Well, neither is one piece, my, but you know. Well, see, minus a pair of gloves that I put double sided tape to, so I just punch them and I rip off the hair on their arms so they, like, get hurt. <laughs> my my weapon is boxing gloves. My then weapon I is that I have holes really the knuckles, strong fingers. I put big steak knives on them and I duct tape them to it. <laughs> yeah, I, like a fun. Like, like, and I call it the sweeter science. <laughs> and I call it. That that's literally a dead rising weapon. It is a dead. I named two dead rising weapons right there. <laughs> Those are both dead rising weapons. <laughs> I forgot about the MMA gloves. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh Pretty my cool. God, huh? it's 
It's like, oh man, I love Ruby. That's Dead cool. Rising's like Ruby. <laughs> I got cool weapons in Ruby. What should I do? Ah, I don't want to think of one. I'm tired. Man, your fucking semblance grow big claws. Couldn't you have like claw weapons also? I don't know. Can't you have like a gun and then your weapon is part of your se I don't, don't want to think about it. Can you have like <laughs> big claw shoes? You can have a weapon and the martial arts style. <laughs> Dude, even make, like, shoe weapons. I don't know. Maybe you yeah. kick a lot. Like, try something, motherfucker. Make, like, a dust like shotgun boots that shoot you to fly. And, and hey, hey, guess what? With this semblance, you could be like, that's why I don't use weapons, because my fucking claws can turn on at what? random. Hey, well, so, you, so you're like, I had to get creative with my weapons, so it's like a dust calibrator that helps me control it so around my So it's a skateboard. <laughs> yeah, make it a skateboard, what? ironically. What's my weapon? Yeah, moon shoes. <laughs> Would be better than just martial arts. Like Moonshoe martial art. There you go. LCD ferocious. Two roller skates. <laughs> yeah, but then you'd be like, oh, Leon Cap did that. No, those were roller blades. <laughs> those were roller blades. <laughs> These are skates. They have four wheels. <laughs> I just have Heelys. <laughs> yeah, that'd be. Oh, dude, and you could like rev them up and shoot forward and shoot a wheel out. See, isn't that Tyrion's weapon already? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> if Tyrion's next time he shows up in Bacchio and he leans back and he has heels and shoots swords from me, those are all right to show the best thing I've ever watched. That would be kind of awesome. All right, awesome. let's, let's hear more about Stone Claw. Ren has modified this martial arts style for two different fighting forms. Awesome. One uses her actual weapon, leather what? gloves, with small, sharp, carved stones. <laughs> she just has the MMA gloves and nails. Yeah, I buried the lead. I remembered this one. She just has gloves that she puts sharp rocks in. I, re I remember it now. Right. Oh, base. <laughs> she just has sharp rocks. <laughs> One was like, imagine guys, a woman. Guys, guys, it's called the Stone Claw style because she gets little sharp rocks and goes scratch, scratch. I want to make my own style of martial arts. Wait, <laughs> but why? No, but why would you have claw weapons if you get big aura claws? It doesn't make any sense. Well, that Liam, that's why they're like rocks because when they blow up, she doesn't care because they're rocks. I mean, yeah, it just seems redundant. Yeah, a little retarded. Yeah. I, I mean, mentally handicapped. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Keep, keep, keep All right. One, one uses her actual weapon leather gloves with small, sharp carved stones, forming one to two inch claws upon the knuckles. The style involves light punches, followed by tearing apart anything her fists make contact with, right. followed by sweeping kicks and other footwork, typically more defensive than offensive, relying on wearing the opponent down. That was all one uh, sentence. If type. you want to tear things, use your. Fingers. I really wish she said light punches and heavy punches <laughs> followed by a quarter circle. <laughs> uh, you don't really want her to let you don't want to let her get in on you because then she'll just push you to the corner. <laughs> she'll push you and to it's the corner. You, she's really hard to get out. She, she, she keeps writing a paragraph and then in the middle of it goes, wait a second, fuck, and goes back to the character description. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good theme. Like, just just like random a command grab. Just, just randomly in the middle of their application to start talking about Sonic. Yeah, exactly. That's a joke, yeah. <laughs> Her second fighting form involves her semblance, abandoning most defensive actions and committing to tearing apart whatever is between her and her goal. <laughs> what the fuck? style is only possible with her semblance right. acting and burning hot. Timothy, I gotta fucking cut in here. Listen, man, I didn't like your character personally. I thought you had some cringe takes in here. But it was fine. It was well constructed. Besides this part, what the fuck was that? You started with... I'm mean, mean here, but this pisses me off. You started with... All right, my first style is like she punches and tears things with her hands and stuff. And your second style was, well, she tears with her so semblance now, and it's harder. Well, it's she gets thing, cool. Dickhead. I'd like to say she gives up the uh, defensive nature of her uh, gloves with rocks in them. I, okay, so he said like it's typically more defensive than offensive, wearing the opponent down. But the actual description of both, on the only difference is one has kicks, and that's the, apparently the more defensive one. I, I don't get it. I don't. I don't. Well, see, get the rocks it. are no. The rocks act as a buffer between the enemy and you. They're like a shield. Well, well if you, it feels like he was trying to describe as Alcoya's meme technique, where he like cuts you and bleeds you, but like you know, like oh, I punch it and bleed him out and wear him down. But it's like, 
The other technique, you just are like, what, killing them? Like, oh, well, they literally describe it when he uses that. It's like, yeah, it's like kind of a shit technique. It's just for intimidation. Yeah, well, this is a fancy world, so I'm like, I give him that, but it's like, what's the fucking point? I, I don't get it. He also didn't name either of these styles. Cringe. Just call it Stone Claw. This sucks. That's too hard. All right, Liam, get on with it. Backstory time. You don't have that yet. Right, I'm sorry. No, you gotta <laughs> fucking yell at you for I fucking yelling at me. I just looked it over. I caught oh my myself. Oh, let's hear your uh, backstory, <laughs> Red. And I'm, I wouldn't want to be too mean to Tim over here. Character backstory. Yeah. Oh, he indented it. How nice. I know. It was actually good. Good work. This is what I said, Tim. You did good. I like that. People don't normally do that. No, why the fuck would you indent it after a fucking... No. <laughs> colon. <laughs> Come on, do a line break. We only got one more after this. Later. Sorry, I apologize. I slow roll things sometimes because I'm it's fine. Yeah. Wen is not a native of Mistral, at least not in the formative sense. Mm -hmm. Born to a wandering tribe known as the Brightstones, who travel all of Remnant, rarely settling down for long, subsisting on mostly whatever the tribe's trained warriors return with from their pilgrimage. Traveling across all of Remnant's a real big pain, considering it's like three major continents. And like filled with scary just, monsters. Yeah, probably should have just like, if you wanted to go with this, probably should have just picked Stannis. <laughs> so that's at least believable. But uh, yeah, continue. A journey to retrieve something of worth to bring back to the tribe. It's awesome. I, I, I love the quarry. The the of their pilgrimage. Yeah, yeah okay. you gotta like leave and bring something cool back. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I love Mass oh, Effect. <laughs> Yeah, it's literally Cory and shit. Run grew up as most of the tribe's children did, training. After all the freedom that was born of their nomadic lifestyle also demanded being strong enough to repel Grimm from the tribe's roots and camping locations. Okay, I'm trying to justify it. That's good. Ren trained day in and day out until finally she unlocked her aura, which allowed her to begin training as a true warrior of the village, a stone carrier. In quotation mark. That's awesome. Ren fought tooth and nail during her training, overwatched by the vel the village elder, <laughs> and a precious few others were trained in the tribe's way, knowing each of them would conduct their own pilgrimage. Awesome. This guy like does really Lord long tenses that don't flow into each other correctly. <laughs> Not at all. No. It's awful. All right. Yeah. Assemblance is the physical aspect of a user's soul. Okay, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Awesome. Uh, and, uh, okay, okay, cool. And when Ren manifested her semblance, she found out how to control her soul was. How out of control her soul was. Oh, sorry. How out of control her soul was. I dyslexic. No, nah, it's okay, bro. Ren struggled much of her formative years with her semblance finding herself outcast just for just how dangerous it was and how quickly around her someone could get hurt. This guy really tried to, like, do the semblance is dangerous thing, but I, I still can't get over it. You're, you're at most Edward Scissorhands. Like, you're not, like, a mom. Like, like, Tim, I really get what you meant. But like, I feel like you... a mental thing. It's literally yeah. just... Ah. It's, if I'm too happy or if I'm too sad, it's any strong emotion, knives come out of my arms, like, on, on a point. It's like, okay, look, that is dangerous, but... It's not, like, dangerous enough for me to buy it, you know? It it bothered me, yeah, but, like, holy shit, man. You could have made it so, like, you your, your semblance was stronger, is all my point is saying. He really held himself back, so it seems a little silly. This tribe, for being super cool, are kind of pussies. Go ahead. She was eventually removed from the training, unable to control her semblance for fear of hurting the other children. Well, that just sounds nonsensical. You... Yeah, it sounds like she's you, strong. You got taken out of training because you you you, you couldn't training. control something. <laughs> yeah. What a bunch of short-sighted assholes everybody is. <laughs> the fucking stone <laughs> carriers suck. Uh, when Ren, wait, yeah. not when Ren grew up regretting her semblance, almost hating it. These negative emotions caused even more semblance outbursts, and she almost swore off her training altogether. Until her village elder came to her, she told her of schools that could train her. Train awesome. her to be a huntress of a warrior and control her semblance. I, awesome. I, I want to ask something. 
Do you guys think like Tragios, your backstory sucks. Do, do you guys so think you like don't. a tribe that is like these long standing Roman traditions and they like send people out but they always come back with like new knowledge would be like, Yeah, we can't fucking figure out how to help you scissor scissor bitch. You just I don't know, just go out there and see if someone at one of these schools can help. Oh, like, yeah, obviously. This let, is soft exile. They don't have to worry about it. They're trying let, to send her out so she'll die. It's not like, a problem. It, it, is the kid that just has small knives coming out of her hand, like, really too much for them to handle? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they want her to die, but they don't want to do it. So they're like, yeah, go out there. You got it. And they're just hoping that she doesn't come back. 100%, right? That feels like subtext to me. I know often to use that. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Ren finally saw a way to make her village proud and to ex- explore all of Remnant as something called a huntress. Okay, this I press S to dash. Does she not? Has she not heard of it <laughs> before? Is it? This is like her leaving the academy to go to the academy. You're like fucking sixteen plus at least. How, how have you never heard of a huntress? You you go across all of Remnant. Shut the I fuck must, up. Uh, must have missed him. Must have missed them. Must have dodged them every time they were nearby. Oh, yes, it's the next sense. It's the exact thing I expected. All right, yeah, okay, awesome. Your character, literally too little knowledge. I'm so confused. She packed that very night and made haste to the nearest Academy, Mistral. Cool. Yeah, Mistral, the Academy. Fucking very hell. Very cool. Fucking hell. Well, what's Ren's major strength? Or did I not say an I suck Ren's major strength is her ferocity in combat. Most have described her as almost animal-like. Her fierce determination and a sunny disposition has helped her solve most of the problems in her life. So far, what's one more obstacle? Yeah, I don't know what that last bit first I don't to. know. I, I don't understand that either. You know, would you really, as a player character, make your character's gimmick, I'm the, the, the like, ferocious animal faunus? Yeah, I see that as, like, an NPC or, like, a boss fight. But, like, are you really down to play that for that long? Just, I'm a, I, can I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm on sunny disposition. Really? Yeah, right? This this character seems like a brooding asshole. And I guess, fair enough, your hands become scissors at random, basically. Yeah. She but seems... It, I thought she was sunny described, disposition? Yeah, I thought it was described as, like, she keeps distance from people because she doesn't want to hurt them. Wouldn't you be, like, kind of, like... If not brooding, like awkward and uncomfortable with it because you're nervous about hurting people or something like. I'm just too kinda cute. Like sounded like you want. Yes, yeah, kind of sounds like you want cute to at the. End. I get yeah. it. That could be what they grow into, but like. Well, uh, yeah, but they they already they're the academy. They they figured it out. Like <laughs> they. They had a couple character arcs on the way over here in the backstory. Subtext I hope you don't mind. V fucking damned. Well, okay, I bet she has a really cool flaw. <laughs> right, right, Liam? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Character's major flaw. Ren struggles in the modern world in more ways than one. Having an incomplete and honestly weak education of most school skills has led to some to believe she's dumb and she somewhat struggles to adapt to just how advanced Mistral is compared to her tribe, having never say, even seen a scroll before. I want to say, okay, one, the, the, the Brightstone tribe sucks. Two, I don't like how many um, somewhat or people think she's dumb in there. Can I get like a little more affirmative affirmation on those, like affirmation on those, like she is kind of dumb, or uh, she she does struggle with society. It's just like somewhat, you know, like a soft problem. I got more. Well, some oh. people think this. They're right. <laughs> <laughs> also, really cool. You're going with, I'm also dumb and don't know technology. Damn, Faunus characters. Oh, they only have God. one trope, huh? <laughs> Smiles. Now, I feel like you can't really do that in the Ruby setting. Yeah. Yeah, because... it'd be fucking gay, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Go ahead, Richard. Yeah, no, because it's like, I mean, you can do that in, like, a different... I mean, I hesitate to say anime, but anime setting. Like, yeah. One Piece or, like, even other things. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, like, in Ruby, one of the only reasons why society is alive is because dust weapons have protected them from Grimm. 
Yeah. Like, uh, where were your people when all that was happening? Yeah, Just right. Just in the woods? Yeah, that's the problem. They, 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 the fucking Brightstones are being described as, well, they travel all around. I, I thought it'd be like, you know, noble savage kind of cool, like, technology still incorporated with natural holistic lifestyle they have like but yeah. i guess they just said fuck that put rocks in your gloves <laughs> yeah that's retarded for a whole society it's like the the tribe can't be that backwards it has to literally just be they hated you and didn't teach you anything <laughs> yeah oh you don't think they trained her wrong on purpose as a joke. That's why I kept saying, I, 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 think the, I think the inference is that they're like, I hope she just dies out there. I feel like that was subtext that I'm Bro, writing they, to make this You should have made it like Caesar's Legion and just be like, they have dust weapons, but you gotta prove you can use them. Use the stones, bitch. Oh, man. I'll it's give like, you a dust weapon when you can punch goodness. people with this glove I filled with <laughs> rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but don't worry. She has one more flaw. This one's more... I'm sure this one... <laughs> I'm too epic. <laughs> Wait, quick. What's her epic other flaw that's definitely uh, not her own flaw? I'm uh, too nice. Uh, too much. Fuck. Uh, the rest of her flaw. <laughs> the racism towards Faunus was also a culture shock to her, leading her to make attempts to hide her heritage. She's a girl who almost feels out of a different time. Oh, awesome. What's dude. your other flaw? Uh, How? Racism exists. <laughs> Some might say that's a flaw of all of Ruby. <laughs> well, I bet she has a cool dream, right? No. Oh, right. sorry, you want me to read it? Uh, yeah. Ren's dream is perhaps a simple one, but one that moves every cell in her body to return to her tribe with something of worth as something of worth. All right, awesome. this is the girl who was just Tally. Yeah, that's why we're that's why we're saying the tribe brings something back. It's just Tally, but shitty. I, I yeah. loved in Mass Effect. She's like Shepard. Uh, fucking knives come out of my hands. <laughs> 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 uh, fucking. That's why we kept up saying. Oh, you're just poorly written, Tally base. <laughs> Okay, okay, we we got one more here, and it's for my my friend Ben because I know he loves. I literally loves this. Damn so man, he gets it. Sorry, you'll understand. It's yeah, personal. Yeah, you'll to him. kneel. Nah, it's personal to him. Don't worry. Uh, uh hi. This is your your pizza flavored. I know. Uh, what's your name? Hey guys, my name's Nick. <laughs> uh, uh, my pronouns are he, him, his. Uh, age twenty one. Uh, experience with tabletop. Hey, I've been playing five years of D and D fifth edition. Experience with Ruby. I've been a fan of ruby for about six years oh damn damn oh fuck long, me huh? uh, <laughs> favorite character and why uh well dude i love nora because she's just so quirky high energy love pancakes and overall <laughs> just a lovable character I want pancakes. That that is give me pancakes. You know what that sounded like? That just sounds like the shit post of like all women know how to do is eat hot chip and lie. (laughs) Like he just (laughs) he just left out words you're supposed to say. (laughs) Okay, uh, least favorite Ruby character probably Cinder. Fair enough, dude. She is the most self-centered narcissistic character in the show, in my opinion. Oh. She's just out for power and will do anything to get it, without any notable purpose other than being power-hungry. <laughs> Unlike Salem or Adam, who do have <laughs> ulterior motives. Y- you know what? When did he write this? Th- this uh, about was a year technically ago. correct. Ooh. No, this was no. past Adam stuff. No, right? fair enough, fair enough. Because I was about to say, there's a point in time in Ruby where Adam, you Doesn't could think of Adam bad. in that way. Yeah, because there's so little we don't know still, you can like him. <laughs> and then we know ironically. Like, like most Ruby characters and parts about Ruby, it was cool before any detail was ascribed to them. Yeah. This is how the series works. All right. Uh, unlike Salem or Adam, who I do have ulterior moments with their behavior, Adam being his absolute hatred for humans, and Salem being our revenge against the gods. Cinda, 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 Cinder has an has no such motive. 
making her just a greedy and small girl. Small is not a physical description here. <laughs> she, that she, she, she's small. small. She's small. Imagine. Small. Once again, I do like that uh, this is just another post of why, what character you dislike. I don't like them because they're me. <laughs> I do love character you like, one sentence, character you hate, this, five. Five, describing how mean they are. Like, he got so close to saying she's a poorly written character, and instead is just like, well, she's a bad person because she's shallow. <laughs> like I like, said, they do it to themselves because they want to explain themselves because they don't want other people to look at them and go, oh, they're cringe. Cringe. <laughs> yeah. Cringe. Every, anyone who applies to a Ruby Be game without saying they I'm hate glad. Ruby is a coward and doesn't understand that anyone who wants to run a Ruby game should hate Ruby also. I'm afraid oh. of people who would want to play I'm Ruby and like sure. Ruby. Right? Because those people just like Ruby. Terrifying. Yeah. Easy, se- easy sessions to give them, I guess. Yeah. They sit around a coffee uh, table and talk. This shit's do the best. you believe in Destiny? Hmm. I believe to an extent. I may I mainly that destiny is offered in choices throughout someone's life. They would have many times they can change their future. Sometimes they are small things. Sometimes they are life changing. Wow. You don't believe in destiny. You, you you just said yeah you can't no. believe in destiny and think it gives you choices, can you? That means you have free well, will. Well, I guess extent. what he's trying to say is like, yeah, like I believe in destiny to an extent, but like there is still like some amount of choice. I guess <laughs> it's just so half. I guess. Well, yeah, no, they're applying to a Ruby game. Hey, that's true. Well, what's your favorite food? Um, pizza. <laughs> not even a type not even try to make it funny just be like i don't have one see that would have yeah. been funny <laughs> if he was called pizza flavored so i don't have a favorite pizza That'd be or awesome. our favorite my favorite food i don't have one you know what his name is pizza flavored i guess this is a man who's made his decisions that makes it much worse all right what's your character's <laughs> God damn it. One I moment. The name. <laughs> Funny the name. Is Holy so shit. Weird. No, dude. All right. Name. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on. Can you give me one second? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. What a fucking <laughs> awful character. Just kill yourself, ironically. <laughs> Character name Baranu Braun prefers prefers to be called Bear Baz. Excuse me, <laughs> Baz. <laughs> I, fucking... oh, I love Baz. I remember this motherfucker from ages ago. <laughs> Baz is my fucking guy. I love Baz. Yeah, so I, much. It, it makes me afraid that you like him. <laughs> you like character no, Baz. I just remember the name Baz. I don't remember any of this character shit. Baz. Beat him is they character age eighteen so relatable yeah. character race faunus uh, bear did you not get that retard <laughs> get from uh, name character Bear-Anu. origin the three bears which one are you <laughs> you, can't all, you can't be all three and no you can't be an inanimate object can it be Goldilocks <laughs> theme Braun yeah. is for brown fuck off. <laughs> For brown, what a poor way to explain. Brawn refers to brown, dude. This guy literally went brawn, like brawn, but also brawn means brown, and he did a big smile. <laughs> I want to just show the fucking head portion of the art he put for his character. Yeah, show <laughs> that. Slash this me. up really quick, like, I fucking love this. This is the most bad motherfucker I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Hey, Claw, how's it going? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. Pre- pretty good, Felix. This guy looks tough. Why? Because he's a faunus? No. <laughs> yeah. It's good All to right. see the Felix is back. <laughs> <laughs> What's his character appearance? Uh, okay, so Baz, we already have the photo, but I guess I'll go ahead and describe it for you. Yeah. I keep looking at the photo when I say this. Baz is a large. Well built man with brown hair in dreads. In dreads. Mm. Brown eyes and several scars ugh, scars across his body. Mainly on his arms and torso, with one on his forehead. Cool. <laughs> he keeps himself shaved at most times due to his upbringing. Oh, some manscaping base. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps himself shaved at most times. 
due to his upbringing of martial arts discipline training, I guess. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> he would have thick chest hair that extends to his forearms and a lot of facial hair. That's awesome. Unlike uh, <laughs> Blake, I guess. Sorry, Blake. I, I kind of lost the myself fuck? in the moment. <laughs> nice. Man. I wanted to get someone else, but then I realized, I, I, you know, I was going to leave him and then I got yeah, threatened by my previous message. No, you no, you don't so scare me. Subconsciously, Ben, you knew. So, no, I'm not scared of, of you. I'm not. Is the okay. part that makes him a bear that he has chest hair? <laughs> No, uh, this is gay. <laughs> oh, okay. mm-hmm. Which there's nothing wrong with. I just think it's a nice new one. Uh, he, <laughs> he likes wearing hoodies, jeans with the, <laughs> with the ass cut out. <laughs> <slippers>. <laughs> it <does not> <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, that part wasn't in it. Fair enough. But he does like jeans and slippers. But so when bad. fighting, he just wears some pants. You know, you know, my character... Just some pants and <laughs> some pin <laughs> braces. He wears some pants and pin yeah. braces. Yeah, Clara's like well, right now. She's wearing like a hoodie, some, some pants, chaps. like some Crocs. Some Crocs. <laughs> but in a fight, she just wears some pants and a like a. My t-shirt, weapon is Crocs. <laughs> the chocolate. <laughs> Chocla. Oh, dude. We, <laughs> we need to start watching that again. Fuck. I know. I know. My, my name is Crocs. Dude, it stands for. It, it means green. It's what we'll do after the podcast. But dude, no we are so close Behind. to bullshit. Anyway. I know. All right. You've seen carrying a duffel bag uh, almost <laughs> all of the time. Some people think it's full of sex toys, but he it's really actually full of snacks and cooking supplies. I feel like you're saying it's full of sex toys is less funny than some people are suspicious of the bag. <laughs> 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 because it just implies like oh he's doing drugs he's a faunus who fucking cares they're not black people anyway <laughs> make your character a fucking racially oppressed okay, so minority I have a world where there's like this minority they're, they're of people suspicious. that are kind of oppressed due to the history of the world oh you mean like black people, people. I mean y- yes but like yes, you know they're not like explicit. actually black people uh well, yeah. looks, un- looks uncomfortably at commentary volume tracks <laughs> <laughs> There's Uh-oh. more. Oh, oh. yeah. Man. Character what? semblance. Snowflake. Wait, snowflake. <laughs> Baz can freeze. Oh, I get it. Cause it was too cold. Uh, <laughs> Baz can freeze water, water vapor, and other similar substances with his hands and feet at the, about ten feet at maximum. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. From his hands and feet, but it goes out 10 feet. <laughs> okay, so well, it no, wait, well, it's Yeah, like but it has kick. to, like, originate from there. He can't okay, just, like, okay. stick his big barrel chest out and free shit with <laughs> okay, his nipples. Okay. He had to yeah, make yeah. sure you knew that. We can, uh, do, we can cut his semblance off. Okay, so off he can do that 10 feet maximum. He uses it for shields, footholds, stepping stones. He does this. Wait, this does not work well in climates. But in arid excel- climates. On arid climates. But excels in humid ones. The temperature only affects how long he can keep things frozen. Like, yeah, I guess ice would melt eventually. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's not like hey, a Super Mario dude, level. It doesn't dude, disappear in a second. Just say you make really cold ice. And the GM probably won't go. It, it, it instantly melts. Yeah, it instantly I, explodes into a million pieces. Even a fucking desert. If you have a big block of ice, it doesn't disappear, dude. Yeah, you're changing the temperature. Like, Don't worry, Ben. If I really hated it, he's got an alternate option. I know, I know. <laughs> he does have an alternate option called Vertigo. Baz can do a thing. Okay, can I... A little sidebar here, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I've seen this literally, like, all the time. Assemblance. Literally? Yeah. No, no, no. Not even just as a semblance. People... I remember seeing shit like this in some Persona apps. That's so weird, but you're right. Like... I've seen, per, like, Vertigo as, like, a thing for so long. Everyone loves this. Because it's like, power. yeah, that would be kind of, I mean, that would be very effective to just give people Vertigo. <laughs> yeah. But, Super like, cool. does it work on Grim? Yeah. That's always the thing you gotta wonder. Like, how do these things actually affect Grim? But people forget that. They're does just Charm like, Person what? work on Grim? Grim! <laughs> well, God, he said it didn't! Well, I said it doesn't let you mind control them. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Oh, I fucking hate this. Fucking and hate it, this what if he sees a shitty class? Um, 
Okay. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll read this, even though literally I said vertigo, and you all know what I'm about to say. Nah, you Baz can skip can this, throw basically. Off his, I mean, it's literally just it's he vertigo. gives someone vertigo. It's literally <laughs> Yeah, no, we just, can skip that. It's wow, hard. God, wow, awesome. You give someone vertigo. Dude, Liam, I give you diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hey, hey, Kevin. It'd be a lot me. funnier if Liam didn't react to it. <laughs> just kind of. Nah, yeah. You're shitting yourself. Nah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, kill me. Uh, <laughs> we'll fucking murder this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Character's weapon. Well, as a martial artist, dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. What's wrong with these people? Dude. Bastard. Say you're a martial artist with a spear. Yeah, say you have gloves, cool. say you have shoes, say you have anything. Let's get, some, guns. Let's get some nunchucks. Come Dude, up with something that isn't some a gun weapon. Gun kata shit. Come, Come on. Come up with a weapon that isn't normally a weapon in reality because we're in a fantasy world. Like a big rap. Dude, thing say you, you have like around. nunchucks, something. Anything. My body is a weapon. My body <laughs> is a weapon. Okay, do you wear like a suit then? That'd be cool. If you wore a common rider suit, you could make your body a weapon. That's fine. Yeah, because, I mean, it's the suit, really. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But okay. if you did martial arts, they're common rider suit. As a, mar as a martial artist, Baz uses body's weapon. However, his van braces can utilize dust for both defensive and offensive purposes. So it's his dust. His weapon. Oh, so his weapons yeah. are his van braces. Dumb fuck. <laughs> yeah, dumb fuck. Retard. But only limiting his range. Wait, but only limiting his range offensive ability. As he can. As he can on. Shoot. Shoot anything out of them. What okay, the fuck retard. Is that? So they can light hey, on fire, but they can't. Bring a pistol. <laughs> yeah. Why don't Dude. you make van braces that can shoot things? Hey, why don't you have van braces that extend into a gauntlet that fires something? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, it's just a like thought. A, it's not like a point five. Making power a Ruby system. weapon is really not that hard. People are it's so they really, really restrain not that hard. They really hold themselves back. It's so fucking weird. Look, guys, you don't have to be realistic. It's Ruby. Just make up a cool weapon. Dude, he, this entire And then is literally like, every comet, you just have a katana faggot. And I'll be like, oh, you bitch! <laughs> no! It's a No, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> These, wait, the, the vampire races are just a weapon, but he just lied and said they aren't. Continue, yeah, he just please. lies. They're, an extension, of, the they're an extension of his form. Yeah. This I mean, pisses me off so much. Even Clara has, like, Nightsticks, <laughs> and I know you're gonna I call them not not that, but to me they're nightsticks. Please <laughs> continue. Yeah, what do you call them? <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, hold on. The van braces are silver in color. They go to his biceps. Work by covering a large portion of his each palm. Oh, so they do cover the palm. You're just a fucking retard. Yeah. Base. This helps stabilize his attacks. Do they when using dust for defending? Like, what do you do? Make whatever. Ice block on them. And yeah, ice walk. Ah, shut up. And utilizes its length to absorb the shock from his hands when he attacks, causing less damage to his feet. <laughs> They're like boxing gloves. <laughs> for fighting techniques, he mainly utilized Muay Thai Jeet Kune Do. That's two uh, different things. Gazun uh, Thai <laughs> when fighting seriously. Otherwise, he would just utilize boxing and kick. Those are wildly okay. different things. Those are wildly different, and Muay Thai Jeet Kune Do are two separate things. You just put them next to each other. What the fuck? That's that's like every part he's covered. He uses a style of every part of his body. I guess he wasn't fucking lying. Okay. Well, it's now. like the left arm is boxing, the right arm is Jeet Kune Do. <laughs> no, uh, the right arm is kickboxing. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. All right, now for the good part. The backstory. <laughs> I love Baz. Oh my god, the backs. <gasps> Wait a second. I think yeah. I remember this guy. You better by now. This I'm might be. I this because this... one. Yeah, it's this one of them. might be my favorite yeah, one. That's why I gave it to you, Ben. <gasps> Oh my god, I love this one, I think. I think this is the one I this literally quote all the time because it's so funny. Yes, this is it, Ben. I gave it to you. You're up. Wow, I I feel so fucking honored. <laughs> um, I guess I could do this. Damn, I just don't know if I'm worthy, you know? You're gonna Are you going to read it or it not? Oh, I'm sorry, we're in a time limit. You, gotta, you, you sweep you. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, remember the contract negotiations were playing Richard by the minute. Yeah, fuck, man. This is well, I'm not paying out. that shit. Fuck. Okay, fine. I guess if it really is busting your nuts, I, I guess I can try. Ben. <laughs> yes, it I is. Can... Now do it already. No, 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 Ben. Take your time. Thank you. No, I got nothing no. better to do. I'm Listen, so, I'm I so, leveled up. I'm Everyone a, here, shut I'm up. a centrist. Just go at a normal pace. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thank you. That's so awesome that Thank I want to strangle go. you. All right. Uh, All right okay. Don't read it. No, I clicked off of it. Give I'm me an the anarchist. Shit. There, okay. <laughs> Character backstory. Listen, growing up in Mantle as a faunus does not make for a happy childhood. <laughs> However, with Baz's personality, you could never guess that he grew up there. His parents were both former members of the White Fang, but both left due to his mother, Ginger... Motherfucking cat. ...become... Beca oh, sorry, became pregnant with Baz. He's not alright, boys. Yeah. And his father, Cody. Got Cody! Seriously hurt, got seriously hurt during one of the protests. They couldn't afraid. afford to leave Mantle for a while, so they decided to save up and leave as soon as they could. They even managed to open a cafe. Which seems like a bad <laughs> idea when you're trying to leave. Here it is! I love this one! Yeah. Oh, happy oh. days! Oh, happy days! Uh, into the cafe-centric oh universe. Oh my god, let me Team pass. Cafe, or, which are characters made up of cafe backstories. I love the cafe backstory. Well, since we all grew up in a cafe, we decided to make a team yeah. together. <laughs> Wait, we all went to the same cafe? <laughs> we all went to uh, the same cafe, so we decided to make a team okay, together. Okay, whatever. They managed to open a cafe, but they were constantly harassed by humans, receiving oh. death threats. Uh, dude. Dude, uh, having was... people call the authorities for health risks? What the fuck? Like, what, did his dad have big bear claws? Like, maybe, <laughs> but like... Anyway, constant vandalization, vandalizing. Come on, the police weren't even helpful? Like, what? not everyone can be racist. No. Oh, uh, dude, no. you think because it was, like, a run by bear faunus, they had, like, bear claws as their famous, like, dessert. You know, they're like, get our bear claws. Well, yeah. yeah every, and everybody, everybody, like, oh, wow, that's what a charming little place. <laughs> but then I, <laughs> then me, a white supremacist, walks up. With a flaming gas can. <laughs> With a fucking gas can, I fucking Mario toss it through their windshield <laughs> and go, I hope everyone yeah. in there is... And Gonna and, fucking die! And, and, they throw a and, then, and then we just see Ben in his biker jack and face paint because he's a ghoulie. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd never join the ghoulies. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Sorry, I have a line. That sobers Ben up. I would like... literally kill the allegory for black people, but I would like... not join the ghoulies. <laughs> 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 Even I have a line. Uh, wait, you kill orcs? <laughs> well, I mean, your campaign where I was forced to. <laughs> Railroad and ass race. Me trying to talk them down, Liam. You have to kill them. <laughs> you have to kill them. They're an allegory. All right. Some people even left. You're them. racist. They would kidnap. They would kidnap Baz while he was at school. The they would kidnap him. The fuck? Oh, they left notes that they would. Like kidnap he him. he okay. works he works okay. at like it's a regular thing. Like they would kidnap yeah. him sometimes. No, they, no, they said they'd leave notes to kidnap him. Yeah, they were just leaving notes. All right, along with the human children bullying him. Oh, boohoo! Anyway, uh, <laughs> but wait, I don't think he ever said what his like trait was. I assume it's like fuzzy ears. Probably. No, he never did. It wasn't his appearance, so I don't know what it is. Yeah. I, oh, I damn. Yeah. I guess. Big. I guess he's just retarded. Yeah, it's probably just being big. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Damn. This is badass. I didn't know, uh, you know, that's uh, I, I, I feel like the traits are very kind of stretch. Anyway, Baz had declared himself the lead artist of the store at the age of five. He made a bunch of paintings Dude, for his parents cute? to hang up. That is so cute. God, I hope nothing happens to them. And <laughs> he was painting one during a weekend at the main counter. Someone pushed him from his chair. Causing him to hit the ground on his head. <laughs> making sure to save their child. Kobe. What? I thought Kobe. it was Cody. Wait, yeah, it was so Cody. It was Cody. Kobe. Kobe. Well, as you know, B and D are really close to each other. In the okay, keyboard. Kobe and Gingy uh, rushed over to Baz to the closest <laughs> clinic. However, 
this was done to make sure nobody was there so that a <laughs> certain gang could steal all their valuables and burn it down. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so getting the child injured was part of their plan for yeah, burning it so, down. So the what? So the, the the most surefire method to get the family to leave the cafe for a time is not only for them to close up. It's to push the child out of a chair so he gets a head trauma, so they rush him to hospital. They have no yeah. other employees. <laughs> no, they're flawless. The they can't awesome. afford it. That's awesome. Yeah. You, so uh, you, you people, you people own this store. You know that wouldn't have happened. No, you know that wouldn't happen. White person owned this place. <laughs> uh, they'd, they'd have padded floors for man. children's heads. They would have paid their protection money. <laughs> they would have paid uh, their protection money. All right, come on. Well, let's see. okay. However, oh, no, oh, so yeah, sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Now with no more money and their child's life at risk, really? Did he hit, did he hit his head that fucking bad? <laughs> yeah. They the had Braun family decided to use the last of their money to get out of Mantle. Yeah, why didn't you do that before? Wait, and, yeah, that was the whole point. They wanted to leave. Did they get high? I mean, I, I mean, did I guess go... you can you can say like, oh, they got a little comfortable, even though I guess they were receiving death threats but daily. That wasn't implied. They've been ostracized since they lived here. Did they? What the fuck? Hey, can I offer a little? Can I please. offer a little no. something? Yeah, please go. Okay, uh, Blake, your band. Um, <laughs> how about instead of saying you literally see death threats every day, why don't you say like it was actually kind of nice and things were okay, and then one day, literally at random, someone cracked my head open like an egg <laughs> and burned everything down and stole everything. And then we realized that there was bubbling racism under the surface we had ignored, and we felt we. But no, to leave. literally. No. D see that that's hey. the problem because this undermines the whole thing because it's like well no shit that happened to you <laughs> you literally hey, received death threats uh, every day Cody, uh, my, our son received Why? another note saying that they're gonna kidnap and rape him today at the school day oh ginger we just don't have enough you money to that shit. seriously those weren't from verified twitter accounts we'll be fine <laughs> why why wouldn't they just like why wouldn't just he word his backstory as like his parents was were like protecting him from the racism yeah. Like, no. he didn't notice it until, like, you know. And they're like, this is good for our kid. Growing up in Mantle is better than growing up in that shithole Mistral. And they're like, it's too or much. He's at risk. We have to go. Australia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish they moved to Australia. I hate Australia. All right. Okay, so here's the thing. Move to Mistral. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, it's a lot of fucking shit to read. Um, <laughs> they moved back to, or they, they moved to Mistral, which was a bad, which was by all accounts a bad move. <laughs> As that was those, wait, what? As that was, I'm sorry. As that was those were. As that was those were the cheapest tickets. What a horrible sentence. That's a fucking Figuring spell. everything else out when they were out of danger. A couple of years later. I guess he's still in the ICU. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> after Ginger managed to get a job. Damn, two years unemployed? Uh, uh, <laughs> managed to get a job working for another cafe. Oh, God, I hope, no I hope nothing happened. Oh, yeah, Ben, I remember when we were reading this, you, like, fucking died when the second one came up. Shut the fuck up before I end you! And Cody became licensed to work with industrial vehicle? <laughs> What, he wagons? No, Isn't he, he like, like 12? Like, no, Kobe's the dad. The dad got like a forklift license. Oh, <laughs> Literally. Oh, With awesome. a steady income, they finally managed to rent out a place to stay nearby a school. Wow. However, Bass asked his parents if he could take a martial arts class. No, they don't want to arm their fucking <laughs> radicals. Miscreant. Yeah, Literally. they're in the white fang. They know what happens when that happens. And when they asked why he said he didn't want to feel helpless again, wow, what an awesome. original concept. Awesome. So they managed to get him some lessons as long as he doesn't quit or keeps his grades above a B. Wow, what real life experience coming in here, folks, just like his parents did. I didn't mean the person writing this. When Baz became 14, damn, time jump. Damn. Uh, he, he, he hit puberty, I guess. <laughs> he passed the combat exam for one of the combat schools. They went to fucking combat school? <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. I would not let my son go to combat school. And... What the fuck? Dude, run the cafe, cunt. Don't fucking... <laughs> You've got it comfy. 
Yeah, you, we like yes, we work under our white overlord who runs the cafe, but he's nice. He's got pops. Oh, hey there, we have. I was still just kidding. Are, are you still <laughs> surprised I kids. survived the series? Baz is one of the kids. Baz is one of the kids Eddie has to beat up. <laughs> Be awesome. That he crane kicked. <laughs> Are you in the forest kissing another woman? Oh, what the fuck? I happened? fucking don't. Holy shit, I forgot that happened. Oh, yeah. Minecraft my my podcast when, bros? Yeah, go episode by episode. What one? Uh, I will. Mm. Uh, I'll have to rewatch it. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes, Liam. We, we, we will. Thanks. All right, so yeah, combat school we came and rolled as soon as he could. In the meantime, his parents managed to open up a new cafe. Oh my god, a third! <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> three cafes! <laughs> three cafes! <laughs> Damn, they're really attached to this. I and then fucking love this backstory. Which became popular in Mistral? Yeah, right. The most racist? I mean,. Okay, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt, and they're in like Greek land where yeah, Greek I, it's a little less. Where the liberals racist. are <laughs> literally where the liberals are. <laughs> it became so popular that Baz even needed to help out. Oh, so, becoming <laughs> wait, becoming the cafe's head chef. My ass. <laughs> He's fourteen. Which He's the head Baz chef. enjoyed sucks. cooking, so he had no issue with it. Uh, awesome. Lily moment. When <laughs> Baz became really 17, he had enough credits to skip his final semester of combat school. I don't think that's how that works in combat schools. No. I don't think they give and you credits. Yeah, feels I graduated early. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you no, were, uh, I... This was just a practice duel, but uh, you killed your opponent, so four credits. Four credits. Cool. Uh, well, uh, can, I, can I buy a gumball with that? <laughs> no, you graduate early. We're not going to teach you anything now. Later. And now his life is going to take a drastic turn now that he can enroll at Mistral. Oh, God, I guess that's just how it ends, huh? <laughs> Pretty well, awesome ending. Well, huh? well, see, the reason you graduate early is it's just part of an elaborate fucking, like, just scheme by, e by not Ethan Ralph, by Ethan fucking... Klein. <laughs> Ethan <laughs> by elaborate plan by Ethan Klein. No, 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 um, by fucking... God. Work it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Oz Pen? Looks like we'll need a four goal four. Leonardo miracle. Lionheart? No, no. Monty Alm? Eddie Rivets? <laughs> Fat woman? No. <laughs> you no. Doing okay? No, I'm not. Akasia? <laughs> <laughs> We can we can come back to you, boy. Let, let, let's, let's all go to outer heaven and leave Blake here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you, you on the boat, Huey. Yeah. yeah, kid like you's never gonna. Make no, it this so, sorry. I was going to say yeah. he graduated early because it's a plot by Sam Hyde. Holy fuck! That's it. Anyway. Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> 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 oh, that is so <laughs> fucking mean. <laughs> Well, I mean, I gotta say, you built it. See, you, you built it up too much. Anyway. I didn't mean to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, nice gaslight. Anyway, <laughs> his greatest strength is his discipline in combat. Fuck off. He doesn't get shaken. Oh wow, cool, awesome Lee moment. And he is at his best in mid range. Oh, uh, best mid range, close combat. Socially, he's not too bothered by being hazed or purpley salted jesus uh he usually has a good, okay what the fuck he usually has a clam attitude towards everything <laughs> and we'll try to get yeah, cool as a clam cool headed cool all clam. right what's this cool character flaw my character flaw dude i'm gonna say it i'm gonna tell you right now this is basically what i envisioned for felix this is basically <laughs> This is basically Felix, but like awful. Like, and I mean that in every sense of the word. Like, <laughs> literally, literally, if there was a stats page, just direct downgrades. Like in everything I see, I see. except. I see. I see. He, he his character cares too much, which I think I is see. an awesome flaw. I see. 
but it's not his major flaw. See, in combat, <laughs> his abilities at range are severely at a disadvantage. He doesn't, doesn't have, have a firearm gun. of sorts, <laughs> making him vulnerable to snipers and other forms of long-range combat. <laughs> My character's flaw, vulnerable to snipers. Dude, that is literally on, like, half the Ruby Look, not having a range, not, not having a range weapon is, like, it a is thing... A disadvantage! Th th this is, like, a thing that Noah will make a meme fight in his game over that the guy can only melee. That's a fun thing for other, like, NPCs or boss fights to have. <clears throat> yeah! You having that... And uh, let me. Can I step behind the curtain real quick? Just, yeah. Okay. Let me step behind the curtain. Uh, Liam, Felix has a range weapon. It's a fan <laughs> he throws. And yes, there's no real good reason he can just catch it. But Felix is just that good. Can you suck that Ruby, up real quick awesome. for me? Ben, I was making a joke. Gosh, I didn't know. No. I didn't know I offended you so hard. No, you did. You pissed me off. You pissed me off. The joke has gone too far. The joke. The joke has gone too far. And unlike some people, I'll bring it up to you and I'll kill you. That's awesome. Okay, anyway. back. Well, how many fans does Felix have? Oh, in the curtain. <laughs> uh, how many fans? Curtain, more curtain. than her. More than your dumb bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, fans of the podcast, can you confirm? Does yeah. Gwen have more fans than Felix? Yeah, I'll put a poll. We don't count Coomers. <laughs> yeah, we do. Sorry, bitch. That's nah, okay. He looks like a girl. Oh, I guess I'm on Felix's side, then. I pause for Based. the explode if you know what I'm talking about. All right, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the funny yeah, part. Can, oh, you can get about, oh, you can get about carefree about social issues. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? <gasps> it's, it's he lacks empathy! <laughs> it oh, really oh, God, I forgot. So, so cute. Yeah, you he forgot this is the best thing. You forgot he lacks empathy. <laughs> you forgot that this is he why you love this character so much. Empathy? Because at the end, they just randomly go. By the way, he's a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> a genuine flaw, and it catches you off guard. <laughs> Literally, I don't okay. have emotional connections. I, I, can I? Can I just say that I actually think that's kind of okay, <laughs> but it doesn't fit what up. you've already told me about this guy. It didn't really come up at all during his backstory, by what, the way. What do you mean? What do you mean? He, he's like a psychopath? Like, what? <laughs> he has okay, no you can be like, oh, he doesn't pick up on social cues. Like, yeah, sure. I don't really get why he wouldn't. He, he, lit, he went to school several years. <laughs> why would he not pick up on social cues? <laughs> Has no empathy. My character Felix doesn't pick up on social cues because he's a fucking weirdo from the forest. Your character <laughs> went to school. Like, all school. Like, every school. <laughs> you didn't mm. skip any. Except for that one mm. year. <laughs> mm, no empathy. No, but, okay, no empathy is just like, dude, mm. why does your character not have empathy? I got no empathy for you. I have no empathy for them uh, uh, felix i'm just not feeling anything anymore wow only the darkness takes me felix only 11 and a half more years clara moment <laughs> fucking no empathy have an ass motherfucker I'm, imagine saying your character doesn't have empathy like so without awesome. a good reason. Like why does your character you you can't just drop <laughs> your character has no empathy. Why does your character have no empathy? <laughs> you, you can't just say your character has no empathy. I, 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 it's no. so awesome. Just no. It's so you, you can't cool. just raw drop my character has no empathy. I I will not accept it. It's so fucking good. Okay, whatever. He doesn't pick up on social cues. Also, he doesn't care too much about classroom behavior either. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? He went to school. How did he get through school? Doesn't care. <laughs> okay, Bad Dreams was family living without fear, hatred, and poverty. He wants the world to stop being so divided. Wow, very cool. <laughs> very cool, Blake. Anyway. <laughs> um, wants to get rid of racism. Cool. Yeah, wow. Awesome. Huh? Cool character trait. We're talking about Blake, like the, the funny the cat. What's the word to be less divided? All right, fucking Go on. awesome. Do you know Blake was actually the reason Blake was called Blake? No, really? Yeah. Fucking so like a, actually, so hang yourself. Are you aware of the Time Lord thing? Wait, the what? Huh? Have you ever heard of a Time Lord man? 
A, a time lord? What's that? Can we wrap this up, Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. I want to hear this. What's a time lord? I'm stopping being a centrist. Like, it's like he regenerates, kind of. Oh, okay. But, okay, he like regenerates. Like, if I cut his arm off, his arm would come back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And he, uh, he kind of like takes, you know, he's, mm-hmm. it's from my fantasy world. That's kind of hard to explain. I'm sorry. No, please. Okay. <laughs> no, well, uh, that, that, it is that, only that. funny to me and Ben and no one else. I, I actually don't even remember this joke. Fra- I just, fans, I, I don't know what the f- <laughs> fans don't worry. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Christian, oh, it's only answer, funny man. to me, and it's not even that funny. Richard was there, and Blake. Richard yeah. was there to see Blake be there. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. What? All right, folks. Well, if you've enjoyed our Ruby Roundhouse, wait, guys, he's done talking with the character. What do you huh? Mean? Yeah, that it's over. That was it. literally it. Oh. Have you been following the format. Oh, Blake, uh, you gotta keep up, man, before I get mad. <laughs> <laughs> or what are you Wait, gonna do? I God, you <laughs> said that like such oh. a threat. <laughs> what a schizophrenic episode. Ben's in a mood. Ben certainly is in a mood. I okay, like you, I'm okay, in a mood. <laughs> okay, okay, let's wrap this up. Richard, why don't you give the spiel? Why don't I give this? All oh, the German. Jesus, drop that on me. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, hey guys, on. that was yeah. Go on. Will. Remember when the guy played to my game with this picture? <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. Okay, hold on, we got one more really quick here. Uh, that never happened. Here we go. Anyone can pick this one up. <laughs> Uh, this is a player named Steven. Player pronouns he, him, age 18 plus is not required, but he is 18. Experience with tabletops. He's played D&D, City of Mist, and Stars Without Number. Experience with Ruby. Haven't watched Ruby. Why are you here? <laughs> Favorite Ruby character and why? Refer to response above. Again, why are you here? <laughs> Least favorite Ruby character and why? Again, why are you here? <laughs> now, it would have been you... really funny if he said Yang. <laughs> that, that would have been funny, you're right, because it makes no sense. Do you believe in destiny? Yes. Babe, he got it! He, he got it, he solved the riddle. Just for fun, favorite food? Didn't answer. Based! Character name? name, Fanto Dark Sun. Oh, that's awesome. Character pronouns, it slash they. Cool. Character age, 18. Character race, Incubus. <laughs> oh. What's your origin? Uh, also Tar. Cool. <laughs> What's your theme? Color theme? Purple. Uh, there's your horrific appearance right there. <laughs> it it's, it's okay, folks. You get to see it. I'm putting this on screen. What, what's your semblance? Oh, boy, it is demon. Oh, cool. What's your weapon? Claws and flame hands. Cool. What's your backstory? Abandoned and abused by parents. <laughs> oh, me, that's a bondand. What's your strength? Oh, you're right. That is a bondanded. Yeah, your... character strength. Super strong and handsome. <laughs> what's your major flaw? <laughs> Has no emotions whatsoever. <laughs> what's your dream? It doesn't have any dreams. All right, Richard, give us the spiel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, glad we could end up on that. If you guys like what we do here, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more content like this on the weekly or whenever we decide to get our asses together and do that. Sorry about the break again, by the way. Uh-huh. Uh, really? It it makes everyone here very happy to hear comments and to see the analytics on these videos just to know that you're enjoying them. It does. Thank Especially you. me. Please, yes, it makes Liam very happy. You have no idea how much you improve his day. Liam's if you like, like a what... sunflower, he turns towards the YouTube comments as he sees them. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I've seen it, and it's horrifying. <laughs> it's it's like one of those scenes out of The Exorcist where the kid just turns towards the camera and doesn't <laughs> blink. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you, so... you will put a smile on my face if you comment, like yeah. guaranteed. Yes, absolutely. So please remember to do that once again. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you like what we do here, uh, go and look at the other channels with the One Piece game, uh, the New Dawn Pirates, and the Record of Remnants series of <laughs> games run by Noah. I can't yeah. believe we didn't coordinate to make our team name Vinyl for that, but, you know, <laughs> awesome. we are dumb. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and have a great week. Goodbye. We'll see, you next, we'll see you next time. 
Grab yourself a seat and keep those hands in the vehicle at all times. You're about to be taken on a ride through the untamed wilds of internet role-playing. Observe them in their natural habitat. So you head out. (laughs) You know that would be funny! I didn't know there'd be consequences! (laughs) Enjoy the splendor of their spurgery. Felix, who is the lion faunus. And feast your eyes upon the questionable creations of internet randoms. Actually, I've never DM'd before. (laughs) This is the Supernova Safari.